Hello, friends and family from around the world. This is Mike with Morning Dew Daily Events Worldwide, and we are on July 21st, 2021. Welcome to another surviving day on the planet, and welcome to the Daily Dew, giving you a space weather update, world weather forecast, and as well, earthquakes update and volcanoes. Having a look, last 48 hours on the sun, 304 angstroms. We do have some activity that was thwarted our way from the right side there. That right fiery region, there was a plasma filament that left the sun heading our way. You'll be able to see that in the next maps coming up. But you can definitely see the action on the sun and a little shaky shaky on the satellite there. Maybe a calibration. But another close look here at the incoming action. This is, these are the regions that have been popping on the backside of the sun. Solar flares and CMEs all week. So heads up, my friends and family, they are here and they are active still. Having a look at the full disc, multi-spectrum, a little bit of activity on the outgoing side as well. Nothing major and no deepening coronal holes earth facing. They seem to be kind of trying to grow and then dim diminishing as there's a lot of activity on the sun and you can see that this CME is shot right at Mars. And it looks like we will get an accelerated, just a little bit of visit from some space weather of this CME. Having a look at our magnetosphere right now, this is the pressure. Magnetosphere cut planes. As we are still steady, above 400 kilometers per second in our solar winds. Having a look here, solar X-ray flux remains low as well as geomagnetic activity remains really low. Real-time solar wind right now is about 460 kilometers per second after peaking to about 523 overnight. Density and temperature remain low. Having a look here at the D absorption map, D wrap, and you can see that large blue did affect over the Atlantic and then over the East Pacific. Another quick show there, Central America, and that was right around the time that we had the deep earthquakes through PG and then the big. 6.8 earthquake in Panama earlier today. Looking at the Schumann resonance for today, a power of 14. Quality of 6.3 and a frequency max of 804 hertz. So a good quality day. And I do feel good and I hope everybody else does too. Much love and God bless everybody. Having a look here at 24 hours last 24 hours for earthquakes across the planet and this here saying now 6.7 downgraded in Panama Punta de la Brica uh, Panama as well a 4.3 here in Colombia rang out just east of that after a couple aftershocks and as well Dominican Republic and Puerto Rico at rocking today largest through the region 3.8 Coastal regions, Smiley, Texas, seeing a 3.1 this morning, as well 2.5, Toya, Texas, into the border with Mexico, and then an active California and Juan de Fuca plate, 4.4 reported here in Petrolia, California, at a 35-kilometer depth, also seeing the earthquakes continue through uh, Markleyville, California, and as well, Mina, Nevada, seeing a 2.6, 3.9 today. And throughout the region, we've seen about 80 earthquakes in our swarm region, Markleyville, California. And that fire still continues just northwest, reporting a small earthquake here in Dollar Point, California, Lake Tahoe. And then all this activity down in Petrolia, California. 
As you can see, these quakes are right on the fault lines. Minor activity through Washington. And as well, minor activity to report through Yellowstone today. As they reported about 20 earthquakes in the lake, about 30 around the region the last 24 hours. And it looks like in a long line here moving northwestwards towards Stanley, Idaho. One there on the shoreline. But yeah, about 20 minor earthquakes throughout the lake of Yellowstone today. As I said here, moving northwestwards towards Idaho. Minor earthquakes already here in Stanley. 1.7, 1.7. Over Hawaii here, pretty sizable earthquake today. 3.2. 32 kilometer depth as well. Alaska, 4.3 earthquake here. Very quiet through Kuril Islands and Kamchatka, Japan, China. So heads up, friends and family across the world. Lots of activity through Papua New Guinea as posted earlier. And then here are deep earthquakes today and our deepest earthquake today. 567 kilometer depth in Levuka, Fiji. So three very deep earthquakes today and we're already seeing the sizable 6.7 and the 6.1 there, Papua New Guinea. Overlooking Europe, 4.0 there in Greece. And as well, Tristan de la Cuna region, 5.0 is the mid-Atlantic ridge. And as well, Chile seeing 4.9 and 4.2, waiting for some deep earthquakes. Those are pretty shallow for, for South America. Have a quick look here. The last seven days across the planet, minor activity through North America and pretty active through Central America and up into Puerto Rico. Deep earthquakes continuing here through the Fiji region. And that's normal. We need that. And as, but the deep region, uh, Banda Sea earthquakes here, and then Papua New Guinea, that's a bit concerning. Expecting some more earthquakes here the next couple weeks or so, as we do have a couple very important planets coming into conjunction. And that's the last seven days for earthquakes across the planet. Have a look here at the Pacific Disaster Center, showing the most recent volcanoes getting updated. Showing here Karamiski in Russia, Swiss and Ajima in Japan, Dokono in Indonesia, as well as Sabankaya in Peru. Lots of fire reports. Wow. Sangay in Ecuador and Nevada Stichilian in Colombia. Uh, Fuego in Guatemala. And as well here, Sarung, Indonesia. That is a newly awakened volcano in Indonesia. And it looks like it's just southeast of Luatolo or possibly west of Luatolo. Stay tuned for the volcanic activity report coming tomorrow. We'll give you a full update on all the volcanoes across the world. As well, looking at minor activity at Etna. Nevada is the rules in Ecuador. And yeah, that was from two days ago. So about 12 volcanoes getting updated today. Active eruptions. And looking at many fires across Canada. Manitoba, Ontario, Northern Ontario. Nasty air quality across North America right now, pretty much. And all of these fires can barely load up on this app right now. It is a bit tough. I would love to be a little bit more specific on where these fires are, but what I will do is definitely show you where these fires are. And that's thanks to all of NASA's satellites up there. Goes 15, goes 16, goes 17. And looking here over the border with BC, you can see all those red dots. Those are the hotspots across Southern BC, it is lit up right now. 
It is lit up. So thoughts and prayers, because these fires are still forming southeast BC. And we've got a little bit of moisture coming in from the north in the five-day forecast, but not much is going to change here. Some very big fires that are still going and starting. Overlooking Northern California here, large fire north of Chico, northeast of Chico, and you can see already it has burned hundreds of hectares of land. That is a very large fire, and that smoke has literally moved across the continent already, sucked up into the huge high-pressure ridge. Overlooking Southern California here, the fire just south of Lake Tahoe. Seems to be cooling down. And then overnight last night, it seemed that uh, Manitoba did get some rain. So the hot spots have disappeared east of uh, Manitoba Lake, Lake Manitoba. Let's have a look here at the five day forecast brought to you by Meteor Earth and, of course, daily events worldwide. Starting out here, home base, Calgary, Alberta, as we're still a smoked out, filled skies. As much as there's no moisture falling, there's still lots of cloud. And you can see large low pressure system moving in over Hudson Bay is going to bring moisture as far south as southern Ontario and into the northeastern United States. And that is just a piece of the large low pressure system that was off the coast of Alaska here grinding. You can see it move eastward there Wednesday or Saturday into Sunday. And then large wave of moisture heading across the continent. But most of the no moisture is staying north. Overlooking the Atlantic. Big strong high pressure ridge still. And then watch this little whippersnapper to head into the United Kingdom this week. So that's Friday Saturday into Sunday, you could see some tropical storm conditions, some pretty strong winds with that low-pressure system. So heads up, Ireland and the UK, and parts of northern, northeastern Europe. Other than that, no major weather events. Overlooking the Pacific, we do have tropical storm Infa, who is slowly making its way to Taiwan. And in this forecast, it looks like it's going to head northwest quite quickly and it all depends on where those low pressure systems go north of it it could change in the fort long range forecast here and as well big system just east of infa and as well a tropical system just west of infa as well looks like it's gonna do a little loop-de-loop -loop around thailand low pressure system here grinding up into pakistan india and lots of rain. Things clearing up for Indonesia this week. Papua New Guinea, daily evaporation rains. And not too much to talk about for Australia, except for some cooler temperatures. And as well, a big low pressure system here might bring a couple waves of moisture to you. Overlooking New Zealand. You've got dry days for the next couple days, but Friday, Saturday, Sunday, lots of rain. As well, looking here, the forecast for Hawaii looks like a little bit, maybe some remnants of Tropical Storm Galarno will be heading towards Hawaii here in the five-day forecast. So heads up, my Hawaiian friends and family from around the world. You could have Tropical Storm Galarno in the long-range forecast. And just look at the size of this low-pressure system developing in the West Pacific right now. Oh, boy. Stay tuned to the dew. A lot of things changing on our planet, as you can probably tell and see across the world. No major systems through Central America. Going to be a couple areas of interest in the long range. South America as well. Tight low pressure system here affecting uh, Chile and Argentina. Overlooking Africa. Some heavy rains West Africa this week. Watch for a possible tropical storm developing in the East Atlantic, long range. And as well, still a low pressure system here moving through North and South Sudan. So lots of moisture across the world. 
I want to thank you everybody for watching today. And as well, I want to thank everybody who joins the live stream. Get into the chat section and say hi and ask me questions. Check out earthquakes and world weather. So live stream is always up 24-7. You can always check up on our planet at any time. Leave you here looking at the southern hemisphere versus the northern, pointing out this very large low pressure system just south of you, Australia. It's about the size of your continent. And as well, the big low pressure system through Hudson Bay this week will be an interesting one. So thanks, everybody. Stay aware and prepared. Stay young and have fun and get your morning due. Bye-bye now. Come say hi in the live stream. Bye-bye. If you enjoyed today's video, please hit that like button, subscribe, share with your friends and family from across the world. Thank you.